All right, Coach, first time we've talked to you since the fall, and um, you know, just how excited are you to, to get uh, spring camp underway? Well, I think everybody's excited, Adam. You know, these guys have been working since we've been back in school, but in group work, um, working on certain things, mostly in the cages. So today's the day they get to get out on the field, swing the bat, see some ball flight, and do that type of thing. And team practice, where you get uh, all the players out, the pitchers involved with the defensive things that you're doing. And so it's a, it's a good day, it's a fun time. I'm sure for every Division I team in the country, they look forward to today. Uh, and for us, uh, fortunately, we have great weather uh, all weekend. So January, you never quite know, temperatures, rain, but uh, beautiful days ahead. Uh, so we feel real good about uh, getting out, getting our team out for the first time, getting on the field, um, and then be working into uh, inter-squad games very soon, as soon as next weekend, uh, getting some of that going, getting the, the team ready for live competition. You don't have the luxury of a long spring training and, and training camp like the, the pros do. How do you get a team ready in such a compact period of time? Well, I think you just got to utilize the schedule the best you can. Uh, three weeks. Uh, we open up, that's not a, a great deal of time. However, you know, since they've been kind of getting in shape, getting their arms in shape, swinging the bat in the cages, uh, that, that should have us about right uh, in three weeks to be ready for opening day. And then for us, you know, it doesn't stop with opening day. We continue to try to work and develop players throughout the season uh, so that they can get better. And obviously our team can get better uh, as the season goes along. So. Uh, I, you know, the schedule works okay. It's just a long time uh, for these guys, the ones that didn't play in the summer, hadn't played a, a live competitive game since last spring. Um, so, you know, it takes them a while sometimes to kind of get back into that real game competitive mode. That's the thing. we got to kind of work that back in at the right pace. You mentioned three weeks till first pitch. How settled are you on a uh, starting lineup and a pitching rotation right now? Well, coming out of the fall, we do a lot of evaluations. Players do them. Coaches do them. Uh, we compile all that information. So we, we normally start with what that information says unless there's an injury or something that changes things. Uh, so we, we pretty much know how we want to open up. And you know, any season early on, you're going to try to get a lot of guys into game action. Uh, we, we plan to do just that in our opening weekend. I'm glad we play four games in the opening weekend just to have more opportunity. And then, you know, trying to uh, determine just how the pitching staff's going to move forward. You know, we definitely need those uh, first three weekends or four weekends of non-conference play to kind of get things lined up and ready for conference. But uh, the good news is um, there's a lot of names to call that we have confidence in to start a game and give us a quality start. Um, we'll just let them go out and compete and finish off uh, who's going to get the Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday calls, uh, and the Tuesday and Wednesday calls. So um, we got a good group of kids that have worked really hard. I think they've got a, a great chemistry, and uh, it's a good team atmosphere. So when you put all those things together, you got a hard-working team that's got some talent. We're looking forward to a good season. we got a new addition here at the ballpark this year. we got dirt uh, at home plate. Just talk about the thought process behind that and what changes it could have on the style of play. Well, you know, just looking at uh, uh, over the years that we've had the turf, looking at the, the pitching mound and um, the fact that pitchers really like the dirt there, I think the hitters and catchers will, will like the dirt now at home plate. Uh, the downside is more maintenance um, and people that are still on a natural surface would laugh at that statement because we don't have very much of that, but that's the only downside to going dirt there. Uh, there'll be a little extra maintenance uh, to, to keep it up and keep it right. Um, but we just wanted to give it a try, see how we liked it. And uh, I'm pretty sure the pitchers and, uh, I mean, the hitters and catchers uh, will really like the change. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right. How's it uh, excited are you guys to get on the field uh, officially for the first time? You know, that's all, it's awesome to get back on the field for the first time, for the spring especially, because, you know, we only got three weeks until the opening day. So, I mean, that's what we all live for and been waiting for since we got to school in August. The spring takes a little different uh, turn for you. you got to learn a new position as you move to the outfield. How would that transition go in the fall, and what are you going to use these three weeks leading up to opening day for? Uh, you know, moving to a new position, is uh, it's been uh, kind of different trying to find the reads off of the bats and stuff from the – way out there, you know, I'm used to being up close and personal with the hitters at third base, but, you know, use these three weeks to really work on my reads and my footwork out there. You've had a lot of time to, to 
spend with your teammates over the holidays and, and in the fall? How close is this group as a unit? Ah, uh, this this the chemistry of this team is awesome. It's it's a lot better than last year. Uh, we got we got a great group of seniors, so uh, the chemistry of this group I think is really going to be key in this season's success. How hard is it for you guys to, to stay focused on practice, knowing opening day is just around the corner? Uh, we we got to have a group of uh, leaders that keep everybody focused on that because you know these three weeks are going to be big, really key in our success early in the year.